Look. Just look at that. I was bad. I was very, very bad. Okay, I'm not going to jiggle you around anymore. I'm going to go in another room and video some more. I'll be right Yeah, it's not like I don't have enough yarn already behind me. I had to go buy more. What can I say? I had an urge I had to take care of. So, well, let me tell you. I'm teaching Mary how to loom knit. Oh, I'm sorry about the jiggling. She's making a hat, and she's about to run out of the navy blue super saver, and I don't have any more. I just gave her some scrap yarn because I didn't think she'd really stick with it. But, Mary, hi. <laughs> You're sticking with it. That's great. Anyway, um, I wanted to show you guys some of the um, other colors of the yarn that I used for my mitt, which is... Because I liked it so much... See, this is my second one, and I'm, um, I, I frogged the skinny one and turned it into this one, so I had to tie on a couple times. I like them probably longer than most people. I like them a little further up my wrist. Um, I have to sew my thumb, and then up to, like, the first knuckle. But I love the way the patterning of the yarn. So, here's my other one. Time out a bit. Okay, I'm back. Here. Okay, here's... And I'll put both of them on for you. And you can see that I have, obviously, longer thumbs than Pam. I, um, well, I have longer hands, too, because I added, um, I added stitches here, from here, up. I added stitches on the thumb, because I like to cover most of my thumb. And I adapted her pattern for my big hands. Um, she had 16 rows. For the cuff I did 20. She had 25 rows from the cuff to the thumb opening. I did 35. She had 5 rows up for the, the thumb and I did 9 and she had Oh, let's see. Three rows of um, your border stitch, I guess is what we would call it. I did five. Um, and then, let's see. After the thumb, she had 12 rows from the end of the thumb up to here. And that cut me off way down here. So I did 20, and then I did do just four rows of um, the border stitch. So anyway, I just have to sew my thumb up, and I'm good to go. I think this one, I must have counted wrong or something, because this one seems longer in the hand than this one does. But maybe once I get my thumb done, it'll, it'll feel it a little longer. It's possible I got messed up, because I was at work part of the time, and transporting my stuff back and forth. My counter might have got bumped. I don't know. And said I had more stitches than I did. But I really, I really like these. But so, I was, and then Rock had a comment about um, how she wondered about that, what yarn I used because <clears throat> she thought they would make great socks. Well, I, uh, I wanted to go back and get the yarn so that I could show it what the label looks like to you. And I do hope it's the right way for you. Because I really want it to be uh, it's Premier Brand, Deborah Norville Collection. Um, what's that say right there? What's that say? Knit, crochet, everyday, soft worsted, anti-pilling. And it, it is a worst of weight, but it's a very thin worst of weight. So you might be able to get away with making socks on this rock. Anyway, I got it. This color, I got, the first color I got is called, color, lava, this is lava, this one is called, appropriately, parrot, 
Isn't that cool? I can't wait to see how that patterns. This one is called hmm, Northern Lights. And allegedly you could see those recently in some of the uh, northern states, but I think it was too cloudy here to see them. This last one that I got of that is called Lilac Ridge. So it's got some interesting colors in it too. It's kind of purple and that's really lavender looking to me. Looks a little blue in this light. Um, and then I got a couple that are also from Deborah Norville collection. Um, it's called Garden Yarn and it's, uh, let's see, what's the weight? Two. And it's not um, classified as sock yarn, but it is not wool. And that's why I picked it. So I got some purple. Well, actually the color is called Crocus. I like Crocus. And this one is called C. And it's got some nice color in it. And I wanted to see how those worked up. I might do socks. That's the kind of yarn that I used for my, my socks. It was also a Deborah Norville Serenity Garden yarn. Which, this is what I used for my sock that I showed you guys the other day. So, yeah. That's that's it. I somehow lost my um, little needles that I use for sewing stuff up when I moved. I had them in a case like this. You know, it just... Oh, this one screws. It screws off. Um, and I lost it somewhere in the move, so I bought another package of that, and these came with it. So, yeah. So... That was my trip to Joanne's. I, yeah, okay. I've been talking long enough about that, I guess. Anyway, um, I am doing this in my room on my on my notebook. My note, my what is that thing? Uh, my tablet. Yeah, it's a tablet. It's not a notebook. I'm doing this on my tablet because my. Um, well, because I'm going to probably upload it directly from my tablet to the internet. Because, and here's the frustrating part, I have, uh, wait, where am I looking? Up there. Okay, sorry if I haven't been looking at you. I don't know where the kit. I thought the camera was over here. Okay, I'm just going to look right above the screen and hope that's you. Um, on my... Home network. I have. I have to have. There's no um, internet out here, like from Roadrunner or anybody like that. So out here, you really basically have to have either DSL or, yeah, I'm opening my needles, or you have satellite internet. And I don't have home phone service, and I don't ever intend to have home phone service because I use my um, cell for everything. But, and the other thing is, when the guy that did the grading graded and extended my driveway, uh, he kind of screwed up, and um, he cut the line for the uh, landline telephone that would, that came into the house. And then I just had, like, the, the boxes removed when I had the guys doing all the work out here. So, you know, I would have to have all the lines put in and everything. I don't know looking in the right place. Anyway, so, so I'm not, okay, so I have satellite internet. It took me forever to say that. I'm sorry. I'm just kind of bleh everywhere. So you are allowed so much usage, basically, per month. And um, there's a little, um, I got a helper. There's a little um, meter that tells you how you're doing. And does my breath smell good? I, I try to keep track of it and everything because I don't want to go over because the very first month I had it, I went over. And that was very frustrating because, you know, then I've got to either pay for these, like, tokens or something, um, to get more internet until the end of the month. And I didn't want to pay for tokens. 
Okay, so I started watching, earlier this month, I started watching Dexter because it became available on streaming. Now, I have my my uh, YouTube stuff set up so that all the videos that I watch, I do not watch in HD, even if they're recorded in HD because it eats up, eats up too much of my usage. I don't know what else to do for Netflix other than staying up until 2 o'clock in the morning and watching them or getting up. Like you have from 2 a.m. to 6 or 7 a.m. or something like that, you have like this unlimited usage, I think. Um, so, you know, other than staying up until the middle of the night, I guess I'm going to have to start doing that to watch, you know, Dexter. Or I pay for a higher level of internet usage per month. And I don't really want to spend more money. So, um, I looked at my usage the other day. Yesterday, I was at 71%. Today, I got online. I watched some videos. I, you know, did some stuff. And, um, I looked before I got off earlier today, and I was down to 35%. Now, it is the 13th of the month. I have three weeks to go. Nearly three weeks to go, because it's the 1st through the 31st. And I'm down by almost two-thirds of my internet. I'm freaking out. Because what am I going to do at the end of the month? I don't want to pay for tokens. It's crazy. And um, So I guess I'm going to be using this more to watch you guys to do videos um, because that's, you know, available. And my, I think I can, I think my data on my tablet and phone plan uh, resets on the 18th, I, I think. So I should be able to, you know, get through this next week just using this and not go over on that either because I watched that as well. I have a little, a little thing on there that like alarms or alerts me if I'm going over on that. So anyway, um, I'll tell you what else I was going to tell you. I'm going to tell you a little bit about my job, but I guess this is already at 11 minutes and I have two other pieces on here, so I guess I better go for now and I'll do another video and upload that later. So anyway, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.